Hello everyone, this is Sean JZ. Today we are gonna learn to create a cool web template, something like this. With all these cool colors, these effects, links and buttons. Okay, cool design. Let's get started then. First thing first, create a new document. Size 800 by 800. Very far, new. Width 800. And high 800. We can have a resolution of 72, but uh, as you guys need a very high res uh, resolution, it's better to go for 300. Because uh, I'm doing this just for a tutorial, so I think for me 72 is more than enough. Uh, this is a tutorial, but as for you guys, I think 300 would be more than great. Okay, click on OK. Once you get the copy, once you get the new canvas, press Alt Delete to bring in the foreground color. Okay, always what you say you need a gradient. So, what you could do is double click on the background layer, click on OK to make it a layer, an edge double layer, double click so that you can go and change the parameters in layer style, click on gradient overlay. Select your color. I'll go for this blue. Okay. Click on OK. Linear. The star linear. Change it to reflected. And reverse it. And increase the scale so that it's gonna look kinda you know. Right. Okay. This is too dark, so what we could do is select the blue itself and go down so this kind of gives a cool effect it's not too dark, not light ok, now that's done the background is cool so next thing would be creating our layout next select the rounded rectangle tool and just a box. If you guys need a margin, it's cool with me, but I don't think I'll be needing a margin. Three, one, two, three. So create a box with the rounded rectangle tool. Okay, this would do. As I've done in my previous tutorial, these stars just get the same, so I'll do it from the beginning. What we could do is double click the layer, I'll rename this as big box, that would be B box. Okay, double click the layer and select gradient over there. And select the gradient and instead of black we're gonna have a blue and instead of white we're gonna have a lighter blue something like this okay that's done to give it a more shiny look you could select reflected as for the style and reverse it okay Increase the scale. I would go with the linear. Okay. Sorry, reverse. Okay. Then also click on the inner glow. Change it to hard mix. Increase the size. And increase the range. And change the color to white. Okay, let's reduce the opacity a bit. Then also we are going to need some drop shadow. Let's increase the distance up a bit. Change the angle. Okay. 
increase the size also reduce the opacity to around 55 okay see got a cool effect okay that's done next thing would be the button shack so I kind of thought to have a rectangular button shack so something like this to the top okay something like this you know so we could scale it down a bit a bit so just just a bit okay just enter what we could do is we could remove the drop shadow on this and give it an inner shadow And the last this size just not much and reduce the opacity. So that's a differentiate it's different from the auto box. Okay. In a glow I think this would do. Okay. We got a sharp edge. And a rounded edge. As for the rounded edge, see there's a color differentiation in both. Change, double click, double click this, the big box, select the stroke, and change the position to inside, and the color, you could select this color. Okay, and the size is to around 2. Okay, click on OK. See now you've got this. Uh, it's kind of cool, you know. Now what we see here is here you get a cool gradient, but as for this box, it's very gloomy, you know. So what we could do is select the gradient, and we have to reverse this. We'll do this. We'll reverse this the beginning and then pull this inside okay well it comes it gradually gradients so if it's so much lighter here it can't be dark here so what we'll do is we'll have we'll click gradient wait We'll have this blue here. As for the top, how much lighter? Okay. As for this, we'll have this blue. 